Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn about different types of culture medias. For any bacterium to be propagated, for any purpose, it is necessary to provide an appropriate biochemical and biophysical environment. A culture media is a solid or a liquid medium that contains all the nutrients the microorganism requires for growth. It is used to grow, transport and store microorganisms. Depending upon the special needs of particular bacteria as well as particular investigators, a large variety of types of culture media have been developed with the different purposes and uses. Culture media can be classified on the basis of physical nature. Those are liquid, semi-solid and solid. And next chemical composition, synthetic and complex. And third one is functional type, supportive, enriched, selective and differential simple media it is also called basal media it consists of meat extract peptone sodium chloride and water while most of nutritional compounds are constant across various media some bacteria needs extra nutrients those bacteria are able to grow with minimal requirements are said to be non fastidious and those that uh, require extra nutrients are said to be fastidious simple media such as peptone water nutrient agar can support non fastidious bacteria growth minimal media minimal media are those that contain the minimum nutrients possible for growth of wild type organisms minimal media typically contains a carbon source which may be a sugar such as glucose various inorganic salts and water supplementary media supplementary media are a type of uh, minimal media that also contains a single selected agent usually an amino acid or a sugar for the culturing of specific oxotroph synthetic media a synthetic medium is a chemically defined medium in which the exact chemical composition is known a complex media a complex medium is an undefined medium in which the exact chemical composition of the medium is not known Example of some common complex media are uh, nutrient broth, triptych soy broth, and mekanki agar. Enriched media. An enriched medium contains uh, some component that permits the growth of specific types or uh, species of bacteria. Usually because they alone can utilize the component for their environment. However, an enrichment medium may have selective features. Blade agar is an example of enriched media because it increases the growth of uh, many fastidious microbes. A selective media is one which has the components added to it which will inhibit or prevent the growth of certain types, species of bacteria or promote the growth of desired species. For example, bile salts and crystal violet favor the growth of gram-negative bacteria by inhibiting the growth of gram-positive bacteria. Eosin methylene, blue agar, mekanki agar, and mannitol salt agar are commonly used as selective media. Differential media. A culture medium is described as a differential medium if it is allows the investigator to distinguish between different types of bacteria based on some observable trait in their pattern of growth on the medium. Blood agar is an example of differential media and is used to distinguish between hemolytic and non-hemolytic bacteria. Eosin methylene, blue agar, mekanki agar and mannitol salt agar are also used as differential media. Clinical specimens must be transported to the laboratory immediately after collection to prevent overgrowth of contaminating organisms or commensals. This can be achieved by using transport media. Such media prevent drying of specimen. Maintain the pathogen to commercial ratio and inhibit overgrowth of unwanted bacteria. Examples of transported media are Carry Blair medium and Wenger Raman Ramakrishnan medium are used to transport feces from suspected cholera patients. Pikes medium is used to transport streptococci from throat specimens.